Good evening from uh, the newsroom, uh, the news for this uh, Friday evening. The government has given details of a new scheme to help uh, people other than post-secondary students uh, to pursue further studies to obtain a degree or other higher qualifications at university level. The program started this week and the Director General for Financial Services in the Ministry of Finance, Odile Vidot, said the priority areas covered under the scheme include digital information, law, financial services, agriculture and fisheries, amongst others. Candidates will be required to take out a bank loan of a maximum of 800,000 rupees. The government will subsidize 4% of the interest rates. Applicants will also have to sign a bond with the government. The government says it believes there is a lack of properly trained personnel in some areas, hence the need for new training programs. A sum of 8 million rupees has been included in the annual budget to help with the scheme. The Department of Land Transport is urging motorists uh, to exercise caution when using the new stretch of road at Anslamouche leading to Answalo. The old road has been officially closed for good since last night and the new one cuts through the Anslamouche Hotel project up to the ice plant uh, on the road to Answalo. Meanwhile, work to construct a promenade on the stretch of road that is now closed has begun. The Department of Transport has reassured members of the public that they can still use the beach alongside the closed-off area for the time being. We agreed that now we are satisfied with uh, the work that has been carried out and we've sort of... Um, uh, address all the pending issues that we have, especially where it concerns safety and the quality of the work itself. We then decided that it's time for us to open the road. The contractor who is uh, undertaking the road work is different from another contractor undertaking the hotel project. And uh, they have their program of works that they need to complete the work within a specified period of time. And uh, so that they can move on to the existing road that has been blocked since last night for them to start construction of the promenade, which is part and parcel of the um, uh, understanding and agreement with the hotel developers, whereby pedestrian and public uh, in general will continue to use uh, the existing road, but not for motorable access, but only for pedestrian access only. Where it comes to the issue of uh, access to the beach, as we all know, the re existing regulation provides access to any person to access beaches. 16 members from different parks and reserves in the Western Indian Ocean region is undergoing uh, evaluation to be certified as marine protected area professionals. It is the first time that this event is being held in Seychelles and amongst the 16 members are two officers from the Seychelles Parks and Garden uh, Authority. The certification will ensure that the officers meet the highest standards in the management of uh, protected areas. The event being held at the Bajaya Bovalombe Resort is a joint initiative of SPGA and the Western Indian Ocean Marine Science Association, WAYOMSA. In the Western Indian Ocean region, we have a growing number of marine protected areas, uh, close to 155, uh, and uh, more than 1,000. Uh, people who work in these marine protected areas and uh, as we expand uh, the coverage of marine protected areas we need more people who can work in these uh, marine protected areas and so this certification is aimed at uh, building uh, competent uh, people uh, who are able to support uh, the growing number of marine protected areas in the western indian ocean region uh, so it's a program that uh, helps them to develop, identify and nurture their skills, talents and abilities and also identify gaps in their competencies. And uh, as Wyomsa, our job is then to help them improve these competencies, to be able to do a better job, work better and to help us uh, grow a thriving 
uh, region in terms of marine protected areas. They have mixed expectations. They are going through uh, an assessment and obviously uh, they are a bit uh, anxious and tense they, you know, to prove that uh, they are competent in their work. And uh, that's part of the, uh, the process that uh, they have to demonstrate and uh, show that, uh, that the real people are the good people that we want to manage our marine protected areas. The center set up by the Roman Catholic Church to help substance abusers kick their addictions has launched its new service. The board of uh, the Centre d'Accueil de la Rosière, or CAR, says the new service, or Centre L'Écoute, is meant to provide families, friends uh, and victims of substance abuse the opportunity to be heard and to get the support they need. In addition, CAR says it wants to give the victims spiritual guidance. It will make available dedicated and trained volunteers at the center. Later, it intends to provide the same service in other parishes. The CAR office will open on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays from 4.30 to 6 p.m. President Wewell Ramkalawan, who is in Britain to attend the coronation of King Charles III of Britain, has met members of the Sichelwa community in London last night. Over 150 people attended the event. State House says it was an occasion for Sichelwa citizens living, studying or working in the UK to meet and interact with Mr. Mkalawan and uh, his wife. Also present were the four members of the Seychelles Defence Forces who will be participating in the coronation parade of King Charles III tomorrow. President uh, Ram Kalawan also gave an interview to the BBC flagship uh, TV programme Hard Talk, hosted by Stephen Sakur. And King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla arrived at Westminster Abbey today for rehearsals ahead of the coronation this weekend. Charles, along with his wife Camilla, will be crowned at Westminster Abbey tomorrow. The 360-year-old St. Edward's crown weighing in at 2.2 kilos and a replacement for an original dating back to the 11th century will be placed onto Charles' head by the Archbishop of Canterbury. The coronation, whose origin dates back uh, a thousand years, will be the biggest ceremoni ceremonial event since that stage for Charles' mother, Queen Elizabeth, in 1953, with a display of pageantry and a huge military procession. Across the capital, in many parts of Britain, shops and public areas are bedecked with Union flag bunting and street parties are planned. Giant screens will show the ceremony at 30 sites around the nation. For some Britons, it is a once-in-a-lifetime event. King Charles' coronation ceremony will be live on SBC3 as from 1.20 tomorrow afternoon. We'll be back at uh, 8 with uh, the news in Creole. Good evening.